What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so what's up? How's it going? It's been good. Kinda. Anywho, in our last episode, we went straight into the Lake of Rage. A few episodes early, I should say so. And uh well, in this episode right here, we're gonna be going into the Lake of Ra or we're gonna be going into Mahogany Town's uh, souvenir shop because there's been something going on. Apparently, there's a lot of uh, Gyaradoses, a lot of Magikarps for being forced into evolving into Gyaradoses. I would know because yes, I did catch myself a red Gyarados. Now, here's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be going into the souvenir shop and then finishing it off by. Going into, what was it called? Uh, going back to Mr. Pokemon and grabbing that experience share. So, let's go right ahead and take on these guys right here. So, the last episode, we met up with Lance, and he's like, Dragonite! Hyper Beam. Oh, wow. Oh, dang, he kicked his butt. What took you so long, Draven? Just as I thought, the strange radio signal is coming from here. Oh, wow, okay, oh, wow. And, well, they're not happy right here. They're just like, oh, wow, we don't want no beef. The stairs are right here. Uh-oh. Draven, we should split up and check this place. I'll go first. That Dragonite, I want one. I want a Dragonite. So let's see what this guy's talking about. He's like, oh, you found that secret stairway. How did you do that? I thought it was, a uh, well, camouflaged. Not really. I mean, I could hear... I could hear your signals and all that stuff. So here we are in the Team Rocket HQ. And as many of you guys already know... You cross a Persian statue. You're gonna get attacked by one of the Team Rocket members right here. Look at that. He, the alarm is starting up and this guy's like, hey, intruder alert. Oh, look at that. Okay, so here we are taking on the Team Rocket Grunt and he's gonna be coming out with his drowsy. So let's go ahead and speed this through. And there we go, two charge beams later. And well, we're gonna continue on right here with Fluff Bolt. And yes. So we're not only going to get attacked by one, but we're going to get attacked by two guys right here. So let's go right ahead, charge beam our way. And just like that, coming out with a Grimer, let's go straight to Thrasher right here. And Thrasher with the dig attack. Yes, hits it pretty well. And let's go right ahead, give Hercules a little bit of love right here. So let's go straight for a brick break. And just like that, Hercules wins. That's right. Yeah, that's how you that, that, that's how you win. Of course, this guy tells you that you know if you keep on crossing these Persian uh, statues, they're gonna see you, and you're gonna keep on battling the same people over and over. So, what you need to do now is you have to go straight to this computer right here where that scientist is waiting for you. And well, let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon now. Another thing too, there is a field right here that you can actually pass through. But it's like a minefield, it's going to have some explosive Pokemon. I would suggest staying away from that because you don't know who you're going to be. Uh, well, the Pokemon that's going to attack you is pretty easy. It's a Voltorb and an Electrode. And you do not want to get attacked by these guys. So, here we are taking on another scientist. And here his name is Scientist Greg. And, well, he is coming out with his... Uh, with his Magnemite right here. So let's go right ahead and go with the Hercules. We're getting paralyzed as always. And just like that, we hit this guy pretty good where it hurts. So let's go straight to Cinder. And go with a Flame Wheel attack. Just like that. We're going to continue on right here. Flame Wheels for the win. And there you go. So what you need to do now is go straight to the computer here. Click this uh, switch and bam. Yes. So now you won't be... You won't be getting attacked by anybody. And wish I would have had that early on. So let's go right ahead. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use this paraly paralysis heal right here. Let's go straight to Hercules. And well, let's go right ahead and move on forward right here. Now you could you gotta love you gotta love how they added a little bit of sound effects when you're stepping on the floor. Definitely sounds like it. Okay, so there we go. And well, we would have been yeah, we would have been getting attacked by like three or four guys right here. And here we found ourselves a nugget. And that's always nice to actually have. And well, there's a t teleportation pad. So let's go right down here. And here we're gonna be finding Lance. And he's gonna be like, Are you alright? 
Your Pokemon are hurt and tired. Here, give them some of my medicine. Yeah, I always seem to... Yeah, I always seem to... To kill my Pokemon right before this guy is supposed to kill me. Yeah, that that's, that's a bad habit of mine. Now, right here... Here is the radio transmitter. It seems that the door, uh, this door checks the voice of the person saying the password before it opens. Okay, so yeah, passwords and all that. And yes, you run, little pest. Yeah, they don't, they don't uh, steer away from insults and all that stuff. And well, here we are taking on a Venonat. And let's give Togepi a little bit of love right here because, well, you know, it was supposed to defeat uh, Morty and all his Pokemon. <laughs> it didn't. Alrighty, so before we do anything, uh, is there an item? No, there's no items right here. Okay. Let's see what we can have actually find right here. And we're gonna find another Team Rocket member. He's like, don't want to open? Well, duh. It has to, it has, or it has uh, to have a password that only a Team Rocket knows. Hmm. Okay, so here we are taking on another Team Rocket grunt. And yes, we are flinching. And luckily for us, bam, we go to level 24. And Togepi is learning Follow Me. And this move right here can be strategic. The user draws attention to itself, making all foes take aim only at the user. This is for double battles, and since there's not a lot of double battles here, I'm just going to give up on, you know, learning it. And just like that, we defeated another Team Rocket Grunt. So let's go right ahead and find that password right here. And, well, would you look at that? Yeah, Lanton is interrogation uh, tactics. He's gonna be like, Draven, in order to unlock the door to the, the radio transmitter, you need the voice of a certain person. The name of the person is Petrell, the Team Rocket executive. I have found out that he is hiding in their leader's office. Unfortunately, though, that room is also protected with a password. Draven, we need the password to, for, uh, to their leader's office first. Hmm. Yeah, we do. We really do. Okay. Let's see. Let's grab this. Found ourselves a full heal. That's always nice. And let's go ahead and use another Pokemon right here. Let's go with um, Nessie. Hmm. Next, Nessie can actually help us out right here. And, well, that right there is an entrance to somewhere. And here we found ourselves TM49 Snatch. A nice move. A strategic move. Team Rocket always has the greatest, like, items out here. And, well, look at that. Two items protected by these two boneheads. And... <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. You're challenging me to a battle? <laughs> You're nuts. But you have guts. I like that. If you can beat me, I'll tell you a password from the boss's room. Okay. Let's go. So here we are, taking on Team Rocket Grunt, and he's coming out with his Raticade. He has no chance whatsoever because Surf Attack for the win. And look at that. Nessie grows level 21. And yes, we get ourselves a, a password. I didn't read it. So the password is Radicate Tail. But we need two passwords. Now, let's go ahead and grab this. An X special. That's always useful right there. And here we found ourselves a protein. And just like my old football coach, you got to take your protein. And, well, here we are taking on another trainer. He's going to be like, I don't care that Pokemon are hurt by our experiments. Dick. Okay, so here we go, taking on Scientist Mitch, and he's going to be coming out with a Ditto, so you guys already know what happens with Ditto's right here. We got to go with a Surf Attack because, well, Ditto's obviously transform, and this guy will have enough power to transform again. Crap baskets, okay. So, Surf Attack, Surf Attack again, and, well, there we go. We get more experience points, thankfully, because Ditto, you know... For some odd reason, you get... <laughs> it, it, it does give you a lot of uh, experience points right there. And so, let's go right ahead and switch back to Cinder right here. Because I have, I have a feeling we're finding another scientist. He's going to be doing the same old thing. You know, Electro-type Pokemon. So here he is. I used to work for Sylph, but now I run the research for Team Rocket. A meddlesome child like you needs to be punished. Holy bejeebus. Okay, so here we go. Another scientist. And, yes, he's coming out with his coughing right here. So here we go, Flame Wheel. And, yes, we are poisoned. That's ought to be nice. And here we are, level 30. Now let's go right ahead and switch our Pokemon to Togepi right here. Because, yes, we don't want to get... Uh, we don't want to get uh, eliminated by that poison. And, well, look at that. Ross has been defeated. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and use that full heal that we got a few minutes ago. So let's go right ahead and uh, let's see. There's a rare candy that we have. And there's that full heal. And well, there it is. Let's go right ahead and you know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and give that rare candy to to Lapras as well. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold, hold the phone, hold the phone, because before I make a uh, trigger happy move, I gotta take a look at this Lapras, and it is close to becoming level 22, so there's... Yeah, let me, let me wait on that for just a bit, okay? Let's go ahead and talk to this person. Do I know the password? Maybe. But no weekly is going to get it. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and dig on another grunt. And so, let's go right ahead and just uh, do our thing right here. Flame wheel for the win. And let's continue on with flame wheel. And there you go. We got ourselves our passwords. So, what are the passwords? Slowpoke tail. It's pretty useless if you don't have the two passwords, which I already do. So, that right there takes care of that. And, well, let's go straight up to the next room right here. And let's see. I think we need to heal up our Pokemon too because uh, we're gonna be using Lapis for this one right now. There we go. Okay, so let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Lapras, it's your turn. That way you can get to level 23 quicker. And well, let's see. I'm kind of wondering how Lapras is just floating around or how it's moving. Maybe seeing it in real life, and you know, you get an idea. It's probably like flapping on the floor or something. And this guy's gonna be like. Oh, a kid? I don't really like this, but eliminate you, I must. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and go up against a Team Rocket Grunt right here. Going with his Rattata. So, let's go right ahead and Surf Attack. And Surf Attack again on this Rattata. There we go, level 23. And it's learning a new move, which is called Rain Dance. I'm going to go with uh, this because, well, it's going to help us in the long run. So let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Togepi. And go with an extra sensory. And just like that, we get some more points. Yes. Okay. And let's see. Before we move anywhere else, I have a, I have a disturbance in the... Or I feel, I feel a disturbance in the force. You guys already know where I'm going with this. And, well, before we continue... Go ahead and use that rare candy. And here we go. Nessie is now at level 23. So easiest two levels that we've ever done. And let's go right here and find ourselves another item, which is right here. This one is TM46 Thief, which, well, you know, like it said, it says it right there. Yes, it will, it will take away items, special items and all that stuff. So let's go right here. And, oh god, this guy. Dot, dot, dot. So you're messing with the with them again. <laughs> you, must be, you must really like Team Rocket so much. Tell me, who was the guy in the cape who used Dragon-type Pokemon? My Pokemon were no match at all. I don't care that I lost. I can beat him by getting stronger Pokemon. It's what he said to me that bothers me. He told me that I don't have love and trust on my po or that I don't love and trust my Pokemon enough. I'm furious that I lost the, to a bleeding heart like him. <laughs> I don't have the time to. Uh, I don't have the time for the likes of you. Seriously, man, I'm gonna flip. Oh man, I, you're, I'm flipping you off. I'm telling you, if this was real life, he'd be getting these hands. Rated E for everyone. So let's go ahead and grab this before you know I start losing my crab. And. Open up this password, and there it is. Two passwords. Yes, rated E for everyone. He would get everything. All these hands. So, here we have this guy right here, and uh, he's like, <laughs> We've been waiting for you. So, you're Draven. Me? You don't know who I am? It is me, Giovanni, the majestic Giovanni himself. <laughs> okay, that's not Giovanni. He's not that flamboyant. <laughs> I don't sound anything like Giovanni. I don't even look like Giovanni. How come? I've worked so hard to mimic him. Petrell is like, I am the Team Rocket executive. You must be trying to sneak into our radio transmitter room. Well, that's not going to happen. That room is protected with a special password. The password is Hail Giovanni. Surprised to hear from me? Knowing that password won't help you, though. 
The door won't open unless I say the password. It only reacts to my voice. Man, this guy... Well, yeah, you can't... You can't really say Team Rocket's too dumb. You can't. So, here we go. Taking on Zubat. And, well, let's go with an extra sensory right here. Yeah, buddy. Extra sensory. For the win! And just like that, Zubat has been defeated. Okay, so took a peek, getting some more points and looking at level 25. And no, it does not know a new move. And we're going to continue on right here. So let's speed it up just a tad. And there we go. Extra sensory for the win. And he's coming out with Eradicate. So let's finish this guy off with not a horn. Well, yeah, not that, but look at this. Wow, this guy just kicked our butt. Okay, so double kick. Avenge my... Avenge my Hercules, and seriously, okay, so there's that poison, and god dang, I really do hate Raticades. So he's like, I couldn't do a thing, Giovanni, please forgive me. Yeah, that's not gonna happen either. He's like, since this banning Team Rocket three years ago, our Giovanni has been missing. But we're certain that he's waiting for uh, for the right time to, for our revival. <laughs> Losing to you won't change the fact that you are unable to get into the radio transmitter room. You need my voice to unlock it. Are you sure about that, homie? That there's a wall there. Okay, so I'm flipping you off too. And here comes a Murkrow. He's gonna be like, Hail Giovanni! Murkrow is mimicking the voice of Petrel. You may be able to And there he goes, he's flying away. We need to get to that Murkrow. We really do. So let's go right ahead and do a few things. Let's go ahead and we do not have a revive. Oh yeah, we do. We have one more. And uh, we're going to give that to Hercules because, uh, yeah, Hercules needs to get back a W right here. So let's go right ahead and use this super potion right now. Give that to Hercules as well. And, well, let's see. What else do we need to do? Oh yeah, let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go straight to Cinder right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and find this Murkrow that's going around, mimicking some Pokemon. And, well, there he is. The password is Hail Giovanni. Okay, let's go right ahead and find this guy. Where the hell are you? Dang. Okay, it's not down there. But it's very, very smart how Nintendo did it by having us follow a Murkrow. It's a very, very good use of, a, of this Pokemon right here. And, well, let's see, where in the heck is this Pokemon? Okay, so it probably went into the stairs, so... <laughs> Alrighty, let's go right ahead and see if, uh, if we can find this guy. And there he is, Murkrow. The password is Hail Giovanni. Okay, so... There it is, right in the entrance, and the password is Hail Giovanni, and just because of that, it opens the door. <laughs> wow! This Murkrow is do is doing Patrol dirty. So now, before you get into this this place, Ariana is yelling at you. She's like, "Hold it right there! We can't let a brat like you do as you please forever. It'll hurt Team Rocket's pride over and over again, making it lessen to you see. So it's time to finish you. However strong you may be, if the two of us fight at the same time, you'll have no chance of winning. Don't you agree? <laughs> Sorry, baby. Now get ready to be thrash." Bring it. Okay, seriously. Hold it. A two-on-one battle? That's so unfair. A typical Team Rocket. Uh, a a typical of Team Rocket to be so sneaky. Allow me to join in the battle. What? You you had an accomplice? Where's his sense of dignity? As an intern boss in place of Giovanni, I'll show you how wrong it is to meddle in on with Team Rocket. You know, Lance, I could have just beaten them both with, you know, my hands behind my back and all that stuff. But, no, nah, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so here it is. We're taking on the Team Rocket Executive and, well, a Team Rocket Grunt. And, wow, his Dragonite is at level 40. Okay, so we're going to we're gonna speed that up because, you know, Intimidate is whatever. So I'm going to go with the strongest Pokemon. There we go. And strongest Pokemon again. And who, who beat that guy? Oh wow, Dragonite won. Okay, so yeah, this Dragonite is a <laughs> this Dragonite is a tank, and wow, it did thunder. Holy crud! Okay, so yeah, we're learning Swift right here. Let's see what kind of move we should take. Okay, let's go ahead and take away Amber Attack, and here comes Gloom. Okay, let me take this homeboy. Let me win. 
Let me go with Gloom. And here comes a Thunder Attack onto... Oh, come on. Show off. Okay, so here we go. Twister Attack and... <laughs> we were useless. Literally useless. Yeah, she's saying that we can be an executive if, you know, we joined and... Uh... <laughs> Okay, so there it is, and Ariana is going to be like, but that's fine. The broadcast experiment was a total success. It doesn't matter what happens to this hideout now. We have much bigger plans. You'll come to appreciate Team Rocket's true power soon enough. Enjoy yourself while you can. <laughs> okay, and well, sorry, Draven. I saw how well you were doing, so I just hung back. Now all there is left to do is to turn off the odd radio signal. Seriously, man? You let me do... Oh, wow. Lance, what kind of a goddamn champion are you? And so, Lance has come to the deduction that it's uh, the, this machine that's causing all the problems. I don't see a switch on it. We have no choice but to make all the electrode faint. That would stop the machine from uh, transmitting the strange signal. It's no fault of the electrode. So, it makes me feel sad. Draven, let's split up the job. Okay, so... We're going to have to beat all these Electrode, and well, I do have a Thrasher right here ready, itching to kick some butt. Now, do realize this, guys. If you try to capture these uh, Electrode, they're going to make you work for it. I don't think you can capture them, but they will try and do uh, self-destruct, so that's uh, pretty much a dick move to do. So here we go, taking on an Electrode, and here he is, Electrode. All right, Thrasher, let's go with a dig attack. And there we go. Defeat this guy. Bam. Thrasher grows to level 25. Which is great. Alright, so that's that. You know what? That's good experience points right there. So let's go right ahead and give Hercules a little bit of love right here too. So let's go right ahead and take on this Herc this guy. And here's an ele another Electrode. Let's see what happens when we use Brick Break. Okay, how about if we throw a Pokeball? Let's prove this wrong. And yes, we're throwing... Okay, so you can capture one of these Electrodes. Okay. Alright. Two. Three. There it is. Throwing out the peace sign. So I saved one of those guys. Not going to use them, but it's always nice to save one of the buddies, you know. Okay, so let's see. We got ourselves Electrode, the ball Pokemon. It is dangerous. If it's if it has too much electricity and it has nothing to do, it amuses itself by exploding. So it's practically a prank if it explodes. <laughs> okay, so there's Electrode. That's number two. And let's beat its buddy right here. All right, bring it on. All right, so here it is, Electrode. And then, uh, well, I wonder if this one has self-destruct. I don't know. Here. Okay, so horn attack right here. And horn attack again. And oh, yeah. Brick break. And bam. Okay, so I shattered the barrier. I should have just I should have just gone with the brick break and stuff. But there it is, guys. Oh, crap baskets. Yeah, the glitch has happened again. And <laughs> that odd signal has finally stopped. The like should be back to normal. You're the best. Let me thank you on behalf of all Pokemon. Oh, yes. Should take this too. I found it here, and I have no use to it. And in there it is, guys. We got ourselves the HMO5. This move right here is Whirlpool. Teach it to a Pokemon to get across the water, but it keeps it. Keep this in mind. You can only use it. Uh, well, you can only use it outside of battle with the mahogany, uh, the mahogany town badge. Draven, the journey is becoming uh, the Pokemon champ, or the the journey to becoming the Pokemon champion is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? Hell yeah. I see. No, you're right. If you would give up easily, you would have never chased that dream in the first place. I look forward to seeing you again. Again, guys, this is a glitch that usually happens with the Dismume, so I'm going to save the game. And I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so like I was saying, guys, that glitch usually happens when you're playing the Dismume for a long period of time. Obviously, I, I, I was playing this game for like at least 25 minutes in raw time and all that stuff. Uh, if you guys are wondering how to fix that whole glitch, I just did it right there. Um, save the game, reset the game, and bam, you're back to where you are. There's going to be no damage to your file or anything like that. Now, my, my thing is this. I don't know exactly what causes it. So if you guys know exactly what it does, what causes that whole glitch to happen, please comment down below. And if you guys have a way to fix it without me just doing this all over again, 
Again, you're more than welcome. Comment down below again. Anywho, we have saved Mahogany Town from uh, the Raging Gyarados. And no, I am not going into the Mahogany Town gym because, well, we got other things to take care of. Like, oh, you know, go to Olivine, go to Sus, Ironwood City, and all that stuff. Get our Pokemon levels up, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, we're waiting on that. So, anywho, guys, thank you guys again for watching. I will be back for another episode next week on our Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver walkthrough. Thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys for the donations and all. I will be back for another episode. See you guys.